Docking of tails. Tail tailing is a surgical procedure that is commonly performed on newborn puppies, but can also be done on adult dogs. This procedure is controversial but may be deemed necessary for some dogs. Knowing why tail tailing is over and how to prevent unnecessary pain and complications is important for any dog owner to understand. What is tail docking in dogs? Tail docking is a term used to describe the trimming of the end or tip of a dog's tail. It involves cutting between the bones in the tail to shorten its length and the amount of tail cut or docked will depend on what it is being removed to begin with. Tail docking is a surgical procedure recommended by a veterinarian regardless of a dog's age, but sometimes done on newborn puppies by home breeders. It is also known as a tail docking even if only part of the tail is removed. Why do puppies get their tails docked? Historically, puppies had their tails docked as newborns because the ancient Romans thought this would prevent rabies and make them better at hunting. We know there is no factual evidence for either of these claims, so today it is usually made in puppies for one of two reasons, appearance or to prevent injury. Certain dog breeds are known to have a certain manner and a certain tail tail is sometimes made to achieve this look. Other breeds have docked tails like puppies to help prevent future tail injuries. This is especially true with hunting breeds or in breeds such as Vizlos and Doberman Pinchers which naturally have very long, thin tails if left undocked. These dogs can harm their tails while running through shrubs and trees or enthusiastically wagging their thin tails against a hard surface. They will be docked like puppies to prevent these injuries from happening when they are adults. There are over 60 dog breeds that commonly have their tails docked like newborn puppies. These included Doberman Pinchers, Rottweilers, various Spaniards, Yorkshire Terriers, German Flag Pointers, Poodles, Schnauzers, Vizlos, Irish Terriers, Airedale Terriers and others. Why do adult dogs get their tails docked? If an adult dog needs his tail docked, it's because he has an injury or some other medical reason for the amputation. Dogs can injure their tails or develop problems with them, such as tumors, which are beyond your control, but require them to be docked as adults. Tail tailing in adult dogs should not be done simply for aesthetic reasons. Is the docking tail painful? Tail tail is painful even in puppies. Cutting through skin, muscle, nerves and between bones is never a painless procedure, even if a puppy is only two days old. He will still resent the procedure, but many breeders do it without anesthetics or sedation since the puppies are easily restrained. This is a controversial procedure but still widely accepted by many. Adult dog tail docking is even more painful and should never be performed without anesthesia and by anyone other than a veterinarian. Concerns with tail docking. Tail tailing is not without complications, even if performed by a veterinarian. Tail docking in puppies is much less difficult than tail docking in an adult dog, but no matter how old the dog is when tail docking is done it is at risk of bleeding, unmanaged pain and complications anesthetics. Other problems can also occur in adult dogs that have their tails docked. Puppy tail docking requires scissors clipping and some stitches or skin glue, but numbing the area before the procedure is recommended if anesthesia is too high of a risk. Not all breeders choose to do this. Adult dog tail docking requires general anesthesia and is a more complicated procedure since the bones are fully developed. It is only performed by a veterinarian. Infection, reinsertion, and difficulty healing can all occur because it's hard to tape a tail, keep it clean, and keep a dog from sitting on it. Legal concerns also exist with tail docking. In some countries, tail docking is illegal so even dog breeds known to have docked tails will have long tails due to legal constraints. This is due to the lack of need for tail docking in puppies and is considered an unethical and purely cosmetic procedure unless deemed medically necessary by a veterinarian.